Hello and welcome to another episode of Crazy's Corner with me, that guy. And uh, today we are talking about China's. Not maybe not the history of China's, but just the different uses of China's, and you know maybe which ones will appeal to you、uh, based on how they were used, etc. You know, so you're going to see it up next. First off, we have this Wuhan China. Now, these Chinas were some of the original designs、uh, of of Chinas today. They feature a conical、uh, bell,、um, as you can see, it goes quite deep in, and they were usually very aggressive, and they had this kind of aggressive pang tone on it. And a lot of the original、um, uh, Chinas had that sort of.、Uh, Uh, fundamental sound to them, that aggressive pang, like a like a flash of lightning. I love these.、Um, first, I personally heard about this or heard these in an album.、Um, I think my earliest memory of these was、um, the Spectrum album by Billy Cobham. He used one kind of like this back in the day. It was it was like this, made like this, like a cascade in waterfall. Because it's the way he used it for accents, very large. Obviously, it's nine, nineteen point five inches wide. But it's very large, very powerful. But it cascaded very well, and in the mix, it just sounded like this all-encompassing kind of rumble. It was just, it was just crazy. So you know, especially with the seventies kind of mixing and sound that they had. So very, very, very inspiring. So this、uh, particular beast is available to you at sixty nine pounds. That's a lot of symbol for the price. That's a lot of China for the price. Sixty nine pound will get you sorted. Next up, we have the China Low Boy.、Um, this is an 18-inch Zildjian China Low Boy, and、uh, we have both this one right here, and the one that's being demoed is the exact same one with rivets. Okay, so these、um, particular symbols,、um, the Low Boys,、uh, became popular in the 1970s. Go, going back to Billy Cobham again. <laughs> and a few, a few of the other.、Um, there's a lot of the other guys. Alphonse Muzon. Oh gosh, there were so many great drummers during that period. So they would use that this way round. Some of them they would use that way round, but this one they use this way round. And、um, as you can see, the profile of that bell there. It was used to great effect, and obviously it was used by a lot of jazzers as well. These bad boys are 149. And 149 respectively. So both at 149 secondhand, they can be yours. All right, so next up we have this absolute monster. Looks like a giant Hadouken. Actually, it's just the China.、Um, it's the antique China by Bosphorus, 24 inch.、Um, amazing, amazingly big. Cutting bell, everything like that.、Um, this particular China is more popular with,、um, you know, the Jeff Hamiltons, that kind of, that kind of thing.、Um, a lot of jazz drummers. Um, big band, very very useful. I know one particular drummer who <coughs> used that to great effect in、um, in Ronnie's this type of symbol.、Um, 
And uh, yeah, I mean, they're very accessible. Um, it's not for everyone, I have to say. <laughs> Quite deep, earthy tones. Obviously, it's a lot of symbol to handle. I'm sure if there's, you know, for you proper jazzers out there, if you were to come and try that, you, you'd see that it's just got an amazing bell on it and uh, a lot of definition here. This this actual um, ride here is designed to have a, a quite a dry area here. <clears throat> so it's quite a bit of definition and obviously it's got dry bell, so that really um, stands out. And you can really get a lot of tones out of this. Uh, and this, this comes into you at 428 pounds. 428 pounds will get you 24 inches of prime symbol right here. Next up we have this 18 inch um, traditional uh, Bosphorus China. Uh, this one was designed um, for the, the more modern crowd. Um, nice sharp tones, yet extremely thin on the bow, as you can see right here. So it's designed to be really hit like this, you know, on the bow. Um, very sharp sounds, um, dark tones, obviously a lot thinner than standard uh, Chinas were or, or have been known to be. Um, and extremely aggressive, extremely aggressive, extremely loud. Um, when used in context, um, it's very, very, very effective. Um, what a lot of guys do, tend to do nowadays um, for a symbol like this is stack them. So they stack them with, um, you know, a splash or a splash with holes in or a crash with holes in um, in the middle of this. And you can get some really nice kind of cha-cha-cha sounds this very interesting effect, very uh, dramatic, very dramatic indeed. Okay, next up we have a Sabian mini Chinese 12 inch. Um, in a lot of the modern uh, drumming in the past 15 years, um, maybe a bit more than that, but you know, let's say 15 years because that's my era. But um, <clears throat> we have seen a lot of these guys, these drummers today, drummers ranging from my Portnoy to um, uh, Jojo Mayer to loads of guys, loads of guys. Tony Royster um, used mini Chinas um, because they're great for build-ups. Um, a lot of drummers tend to stack them uh, with other cymbals, other splashes, or even other Chinas that are slightly bigger, as long as the contours fit and they don't rattle against each other. Um, if they produce a pleasing sound, then it goes down as a stack. <laughs> and um, these are usually used to great effect as stacks. Um, yeah, very simple um, ways to, uh, to just kind of add something. Quick accent here, uh, quick exclamation mark, as my dad would say, um, in the music, you know? So uh, this kind of symbol here, um, would come in usually at uh, one three five, um, and this is one three five. I mean, it comes in usually one three five. This is actually the price of the symbol. This is actually brand new. As you can see, it's quite thin. Bend it slightly. Um, the surface here on the bow is very, very curved. They want to encourage you to hit the crap out of it right there, <laughs> and um, very fiery quick accents. Whilst Chinas are not for everyone, um, the use of Chinas has become more prevalent these days, especially in modern music. 
Um, so you never know, you might want to um, use that or test one out, see if it works in your style of music, whether it be pop, rock, country, could be aerodynamic, exoskeletal music, I don't know, whatever you do. Um, but you never know, you might find something that fits perfectly in that. So I would encourage you to come down, try them out for yourself, and uh, see where that takes you. Uh, thanks for watching, we hope this has been useful to you. Um, I know it hasn't been as in-depth as uh, some of you may have hoped, I don't know, I'm not sure, but uh, uh, at the same time, you know, I hope it was useful to you, you know. Maybe you've been umming and ahhing about getting to China. Um, this is, hopefully, the video that would cause you to start thinking about one, if you don't have one already, so. Um, hope this has been useful, and we will see you in the Europa League. I mean, next week.